Hello, I'm Claire and I love winter time. I love the cold, crisp air and oh, the cups of hot chocolate. And best of all, the woolly jumpers. <laughs> I love to make these paper snowflakes in the winter time to decorate the house with. They're super easy and they're so much fun to make. So I thought I would show you how to make them. But first, I've always wondered why snowflakes are these shapes and how they're actually made. So let's investigate this together. If you've ever caught a snowflake on your glove and had a really close look at it, you might have noticed that it's symmetrical and it's got six sides. It's a hexagon. You might think that a snowflake is just frozen water, but actually it's a bit more complicated than that. Our snowflake looks a bit different to an ice cube, wouldn't you agree? That's because an ice cube is frozen water, but our snowflakes are frozen water vapour. Water exists on our planet in three main states of matter. Solid, liquid and gas. Now, we call solid water ice and we call liquid water, well, just water. And the gas form is called water vapour. Now, we can actually see these different states when we freeze and cool water. If we were to heat up a pot of water, it would start to bubble and boil and it would make water vapour. But eventually it would cool down and turn back into liquid water. We can actually see this happening on our windows in winter. When it's really cold outside, we get condensation. And we can even see it on our breath when we breathe when we're outside and it's really chilly. If we were to put some liquid water in the freezer, it would cool down and become solid water, which is ice. Our snowflake begins its life as a tiny speck of dust or pollen that catches on to water vapour in the air. Now, when it's really, really cold, that water vapour freezes and becomes an ice crystal. This is the beginning of our snowflake. But why are they a hexagon shape? Well, water molecules in the liquid and the gas state are buzzing around, bumping into each other. But when it starts to get cold enough, the water molecules slow down. And when it starts to freeze, they actually align themselves in the most efficient way possible, which just so happens to be a hexagon. Each snowflake has a unique design because of the unique path it takes when it falls to the ground. Now, snowflakes are blown about by the wind and they bump into different water molecules. Changes in temperature and humidity can also change the design of our snowflake. And our snowflakes can go from flat hexagons called plates that look like this. Or they can become long, thin hexagons called needles or columns. Let's make our very own snowflakes now. And to do this, all we need is some scissors and some paper. So if you've got a rectangular piece of paper like this A4, the first thing we need to do is cut it into a square. So to do that, we're going to take a corner and line it up with the edge. Then we're going to cut off the excess. Now that we've got our nice square piece of paper, the first thing we need to do is fold it in half diagonally to make a triangle. Next, we need to fold our triangle in half to make a smaller one. Next, we need to fold our triangle in thirds. So we'll start with our left hand corner and bring it across. Then we'll fold over our right corner. Okay. 
it's important that these two edges line up nicely. So don't press too hard until you've got them just where you want them. Next, we need to cut off these pointed tips. And now it's time to get creative. So we're gonna cut out some shapes from our triangle and that is going to give us our snowflakes design. And it's much easier if you cut straight lines instead of curvy ones. Now it's time to unfold our snowflake and have a look at its unique design. You can use your snowflakes to decorate a window or even a Christmas tree. Please send in some pictures of your amazing designs. We would love to see what you've created.